All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Alex, and we are inside of Heroic Assault. At the moment, I am on floor number two, and uh, oh my gosh, yeah, come here. Yeah, it's not too bad too far. It's uh, oh, so far, it's uh, pretty simple. It's not a whole lot going on, but the enemies are like super low level, so they die in like you know, instantly. And you don't really start getting decent rewards, looks like, until like floor like five and up. So we're gonna have to burn through this and uh, see what the rewards look like later on in the game. But as of right now, one thing that I can say that I'm already enjoying and I hope it gets a little bit, you know, more intense later on is the enemy density. Look at all these guys. I know there are this is, uh, you know, made for four players, so hopefully uh, the enemy density stays the same because I like the combat in this game. And one thing I will say is that the encounters end way too quickly once your character is like fully built out. At least with Red Hood. He just does so much damage. So seeing all these little icons pop up are kind of... Get me a little bit hopeful for later on, but we shall see how that, how that uh, plays out. Also, the mob is super annoying. Specifically because of those uh, big ladies. Here we go. Now that's what I call an ass kick. And it seems to be, uh, it's like slight objective base. Like you got a, the last room I had to activate a repair switch or something like that. So unless there's something that you got to do time gated wise, you're going to be able to do this solo. Like I don't see this being uh, so difficult that you can't beat it by yourself if you're worried about trying to find a team. And there are also a whole bunch of chests hidden all over the place, but I'm actually not worried about that because uh, I want to open this chest and I'm going to get materials. But look at that on the side, 999. I'm already maxed out. Apparently they went back and uh, they uh, adjusted the amount of materials you have. So before I had like like almost two million of a lot of these materials, and I guess it just con uh, condensed it down to you know just nine 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 everything, which is I think is good because sometimes those numbers would just uh, overlap. Like when you pick things up off the ground, they would just look absolutely crazy on the screen okay so right here we got a defend I'm guessing yeah oh my god I got it guys but yeah but since they're so low level like they just get melted now later on I'm actually curious whether or not they uh they're gonna implement like some of the bosses in here get off that I know they, they, they also have a, uh, a showdown mode, which is a updated, I guess, boss battle mode where the bosses have, looks like some type of modifiers on them. So that's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna have to check that out after this. Hey, what? Not so tough now. Oh my God, dude. You know, I can almost just kind of stand over here and just snipe them. Yeah, I'm actually gonna probably cut here or after this one and then come back on a later floor when the difficulty gets a little bit more actually uh, difficult. I wonder who's gonna be the best. I feel like Red Hood is actually just gonna be the best character inside of this mode or he's just literally just popping off dude hey don't don't do it get out of here man get out of here it would also be nice if they incorporated the uh the most wanted enemies inside of this that would actually be good because uh i'm not entirely sure but i think those guys actually dropped some of the blueprints you're missing later on 
Oh, we're done with floor two. All right. Actually, let's uh, since we're done here, I'll show you guys the actual uh, the lobby because you do kind of have like a staging area before you go in where you can invite people, I guess, to play. And I say it's 18 minutes, but it didn't take me that long. I was literally I killed 197 enemies. Holy. So yeah, the enemy density, but yeah, like here, this is where you can, you know, uh, open up your game to, to the public, get more people in here. Pretty much like a belfry, but, uh, it's a neat little underground cave. And this over here is where you actually start the activity. I've done floor one, floor two, but the rewards here are kind of trash. So here, I think those are the blueprint uh icons i'm not I, I get the icons confused sometimes i think those are blueprints and not mods but like you can see here the uh you have a recommended power level for each floor so if you are trying to do this early game this might not work a whole lot this might be a little bit rough for you except well not except but unless you can actually get gear from the earlier floor so that might actually help you and uh so later on you get a lot of legendaries legendary material to actually craft for legendaries and it goes up to 30 floors and each was that five floors you got a reckoning so i'm guessing that's a boss battle uh of some sort i'm not entirely sure gonna get to floor five and actually see and I don't think I got any new blueprints here mm, yeah nah so everything I have level 40 so you're gonna be uh, the first couple floors are gonna pretty much just be kind of a uh, non-starter until you get later on so I'm gonna cut here and then I'm gonna jump back in at floor five all right, and we are back. We unlock floor five, and uh, let's uh, check out the reckoning. But so far, the other floors they've pretty much been more of the same. Uh, just doing random objectives. And one thing I did notice is that the tile set has been kind of sort of repeating itself, like backwards and forwards. Now I don't know if that changes the uh, the deeper you go. Maybe we'll get a different tile set after, uh, you know, every five floors or something like that. But we shall see about that one. Now let us go see what reckoning is. Now do we gotta go through this again to get to a reckoning? Seems so, seems so. So yeah, like Red Hood is a, uh, it's probably gonna be the best character for this. I'm gonna say probably a team of all Red Hoods are gonna absolutely obliterate this. And I know that I, uh, my guy's completely maxed out. He's a, and this isn't even my high damage build. This is a momentum build. If I was using my DPS build, this would be a, even more of a, a wash, but. All right, so that was pretty quick. And they also buffed the uh, the stealth suit. So, and some of the, uh, the stealth value. So I'm gonna have to go check that out and see if stealth is actually a viable thing now. Because before there would be some enemies where you just, no matter how much uh, perks you activate, like it was just so hard to get a one shot stealth kill. And now they actually adjusted some of the value. So after this, I'm absolutely gonna make a video on that because I've been playing Robin a lot and uh, been kind of wanting to do some stealth, but it's been a little bit difficult. Okay, so we actually had this again. Okay, so these are kind of like rinse and repeat. Now this is the same way all the way down. Although I, I do think I do believe we uh at some point we have to escort, so I know there is an escort type thing going on. I think, I'm not entirely sure. A red hood. Oh why? Did not intentionally hit that guy, but Yeah, Red Hood is so cool. And just a little tip for Red Hood. I see a lot of people want to 
know do this with Red Hood, but Red Hood is a he's a range character. I know like he's the big guy, but all of his combos are done at range. So he just a little tangent. I, I see a lot of people, you know, just doing this with Red Hood and zipping around, but I mean you can play that way. But he doesn't have combos with his melee attacks. I mean, you could combo light into heavy, but that's about it. Okay, I'm going way off topic here, but. He almost got me. Ooh. It's a good thing these guys are so weak. I'm really curious if they put any boss battles in this, though. That would actually be kind of cool. Reach the next room. Okay, so I think that that was room two. Okay, so this should be the reckoning room. I believe. Now what that means, who knows? Some chest in there, but I don't I literally don't need any materials, so just gonna bypass those. I'll come back and get them once uh yeah, I may as well grab this right there. I do believe it might be an uh, achievement or something with the chests. I know every floor has a certain amount of chests and it actually tells you. Oh. Alright. So it's a normal enemy type. Here comes my favorite part. Taking these assholes out. Are you all that your people have sent to stop me? That a uh uh, they they should have made that a uh, most wanted enemy. Nobody cares, Star Rover. They're actually about to get washed. Ooh, we dropped the legendary. Ooh, we also dropped the legendary. He received oh that was a blueprint oh okay I know you guys can't really see it up top but it said if they uh, replaced the blueprint something that I already had of a lower level so let's actually see what that was okay so that was a reckoning that was a uh, that's pretty weak not gonna lie but although we are way over leveled for this area that might have been actually a little bit difficult if uh I was actually on level. Let's check out the gear. So, I don't think we got a suit. Not. Did we get a melee weapon? We also need a way to sort this by new. That that would be a uh, ideal. Didn't get that. A range weapon. Did the game trick me? I think it tricked me. Could have been a mod, but I got so many mods, it doesn't even matter. Uh, maybe it was a mod. Yeah. So I did get three legendary mods there, so that's actually good if you're on a hunt for legendary mods, but like myself here, you don't need any. And uh, so far, first impressions, it's cool, it's fine, it's free. Uh, we'll see how it goes the deeper you get. And they also added a new showdown mode, so I'm actually going to take a break from this and uh, check out that mode to see what it's like this goes all the way to 30 so we shall see and there's also a Starro faction I don't know what that means right there so the first five, five the first five floors seem to be mob next one are regulators mixed with freaks okay so it's all random Okay, well, first impressions, it's pretty good. It's a lot of mob density. We would like to see our, can't wait to get to higher floors where the enemies are actually on level. And maybe they might even get a little bit stronger now. So they can get like level 45 enemies. That would actually be legit because, you know, at the current moment, 41, 42, those guys are still way too squishy. At least for Red Hood, at least. He just does too much damage. But with that being said, man, hope you guys enjoyed the first impressions. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.